Hi guys, it is Nick from Simplify ERP. In today's guide, I'm going to show you how to manage multiple shops on one database for multi-website. So starting on the order dashboard screen like usual, let's go into website. From here, let's open products. As you can see on my screen, we have multiple products and lots of varieties, which means you can see who's responsible for making the product, the product name, obviously, sales price, how much does it cost, how much quantity do you have on hand and things like that. But let's group them by a website and see how many shops we have on one database. There's no limit in shops and there are nor will be any problems if you make multi shop on one single database, which means you can manage it fully and it will be completely operational within Oru. So let's check both of the shops right now. So Alpaca 1 is the first shop that we have. This is how it looks like. I'm going to show you some of the products over here. So you can see that we have a variety of these. And the second shop is simplifyrp.de. So all of these shop pages come with a template, which you can customize or you can make it pre-made already before you publish your page. And it's really easy to customize all of them. Let's go in the back end and explore how are the products grouped and also created. So we're going to go into the Alpaca website, of course, there are more options over here. And let's say we choose this one. So on, from the left side towards the right side, you can see general information about the product. You can make variants like the color, what sizes are available and things like that. You can go into sales and offer invoices, offer a tax as well. You can offer sales descriptions such as what's the material for that product and warnings about how you can wash it and things like that. Going over e-commerce, you can see on which website should this product be visible at? So for example, because you can have several products, that's how Auto 14 works, that in one database you can have as many shops as possible, and all of those products created within those shops, you can target them for a specific shop, or you can have them visible or multiple ones. Going over to purchase, you can see the vendor, vendor bills, purchasing description, and things like that. Also, in inventory, you can see drop shipping and also buying. Is it possible to buy the item? Is it on stock? Can you buy it through drop shipping? Who is responsible for it? Where is it located at? And things like that. Also, to create product variants, you go to products and product variants. So that's about it. Pretty simple. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. For more tutorials and guides, make sure to check out our websites at simplify-erp.com and simplify-erp.de. Also, check out our pages on social media under simplify-erp, including LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you all for watching. See you again in another video.